hello time friends and welcome back to my channel my name is Kali Kuru on the internet and I also go by the name of Kali and I'm happy that you found your way to today's bib and spin chat you can see that my whole desk is like one big mess but that's completely fine so it's a small desk I don't have a lot of space um, what I wanted to show you and that's why I did zoom out is that we have worked quite a bit on this painting already I did last week the kid up and chat and this week we will get a regular whip and sup and chat so if you don't know what this means whip stands for work in progress so i'm going to work on this kit i'm currently working on uh, chatting part is just me chatting about daily life so it can be a shorter video it can be a longer video it depends on what i have to say and we have the sipping part so sipping part is i got some black tea it's early morning here we are sunday um, just get something to drink and stay hydrated while you're listening and while you're working maybe on your own project. So if you're new to my channel, I want to say hi. If you come back for regular videos, I also want to say hi. I'm always happy like to see that there are a few people who are watching um, on a more regular basis um, and that you are really interested in some kind of way on what I'm saying. So um, this is the painting I'm currently working at. It's from Diamond Art Club. It was the very first diamond painting that I got from them uh, with um, Afternoon Tea by Randall Spangler. Randall Spangler, I did already do it. This one was still in my stock and I was saying like for the Women Who Sparkle 2024 event hosted by Diamond Paintings and Pores and Sparkling Dots, I decided to just like take this out because it's very dear to me and to watch on this, like to work on it, sorry. Um, and this is Evening Lights by Jeremy Kettner and it's 56 by 74 centimeters. I'm not sure that this one does still exist at the moment that I'm speaking, like if they have not archived it. Um, I'm not sure, but they do have like two other very lovely Jeremiah Ketna pictures with a girl in it. Like I had to watch and I actually went to look up the web page and I did not find this one because it's out of stock. I don't know. Or just because like they decided not to make it anymore. Um, but like they do have two other very lovely ones with the girls um in their shop so i'm like tempted i put them on my wish list but like i told you guys i try to buy less diamond paintings at the moment um more about that in instant as well um but yeah so i'm just going to prepare everything that we can work on this part where i'm currently working so this is the part that i'm working on i'm trying to get everything into frame i try to bring down the mic a little bit so i hope that this should be enough um, just going to change also the lighting a little bit so that I can see what I'm actually doing okay this should be fine a little bit less maybe like this okay so we are good to go you should see the section I'm working on so it does go pretty quickly um, it's a square one they have a lot of color blocking in this kit um, there are a lot of sections where you can place the same color. You can see I did already do the straw here and here. I did a little outline of the ears. Um, it goes quick, um, I must say, really, really quick. But the only places where you will be slow is like the background, where you have a lot of confetti. You see those changes here. Um, but for the rest, like there's not much of um, confetti going on. So I'm just going color by color and then I'm going move my way up there I'm working from bottom to top just because like I, I prefer like starting this way um, even though I know that later on it gets annoying because like the canvas with the drills on can get a little bit heavy and then I have to turn them around and roll them up I don't like to have here down here a rolled up part and then I have to work like this on top so I just prefer like to turn around. I know the symbols by then usually. Um, and I'm able like not to make mistakes. Um, I don't know if this is the best idea. If you have another idea how to work. Like if you prefer from top to bottom. Um, how does this work for you? Let me know in the comments down below. Like what is your way to just work on a diamond painting from top to bottom, row by row? How do you do it? Like I'm really interested in that at the moment. So just let me know. Um, sometimes I also like forget like you can see here a few drills but in general okay I think I have them all in the ear um, 
So what we are going to talk about today is today's week, like this week, not today's week, but this week we are Sunday at the moment, Sunday morning. And this week I did not upload another uh, little video on Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. That was because I was sick. Like I went to work on Monday and during the day like I had to go home because my ear was hurting so badly. Um, last week already I had ear problems and I did not know like why. It's just that one ear and I never have like ear problems. Like my ears never really hurt. So I was quite astonished. I was like, what's going on? But then I was like, okay, sometimes it did hurt, then it did stop, then it did come back. And I was like, okay, that's not so bad. It will probably go away. And figure out it did go away for one day. Um, my mom even went to the pharmacy and got me something from them, uh, hoping that it would go away entirely. But after a day, it was already back. And the annoying thing is that when I went to work, it was kind of okay-ish. <laughs> but then once I was at work, like it got really, really bad. And I felt like I had fever, like I was really hot. So I decided to just like, I'm very sorry. I just like had to go home. Um, I finished like my two first classes and then I did leave for that day. Um, there was no appointment. So I got like the appointment the other day and in the morning I went to see the doctor and she just like had a look at it and she was like, did you go on a plane recently or did you go swim? And I was like, no, I like in winter I usually don't go swimming because when I don't like when my hair gets wet and I pretty get sick like if I don't dry it correctly so I avoid going swimming in winter um, and I had not been on a plane like either so she was like oh that's so weird um, and she could not really figure out what or where this problem was coming from um, but she did tell me that it was probably like because it was just that one ear she said that it was probably something that was like hindering the passage or just like blocking it and so she she did give me like some medication to put in the ear um, and to deal with it like some drops like I have to put in there regularly and I also had to buy like these these ear stoppers like you put in the ear when I go like take a shower so that I don't get my ears wet inside so I did get them um, <clears throat> is it better? Yeah, it is better entirely. Um, not yet, I think, but it's on the best way to heal. I don't know what it is, since it's just like one side, it's really weird. Um, but I think it's better already, and that's the main point. <laughs> so I had to stay though home, and I did not do any videos during that time. I just like really try to relax because my ear were hurting so much um, watching some TVs or TV shows or just like reading a little bit everything where I did not have like to listen to something high volume if I was at school like I know that like kids are especially now we are like two weeks away from the next holidays they are a little bit excited the weather is getting better so they have a lot to say and talk and I think that there is no quiet at the moment in many classes I teach, so it can be quite painful to the ear, let's say it like this, um, if you have an infection. In general, there's like, it's fine. Um, so I did not go there for a few days uh, until it was healed entirely, uh, or what we can call entirely, near enough. <laughs> and. Um, Afterwards, like I went back and I did survive it quite well, so I think that it's sealed enough. Um, what I did, like after when I went back to work this weekend, we decided to go. Um, this weekend we did a lot of stuff actually, like um, we went to a few places. 
on Friday we went to eat outside like we have discovered this restaurant in France where we love to go so if you know um, Luxembourg is pretty close to France actually um, living quite close to the border it's easy to go there like it's a drive of like if we really want just want to cross the border it's a not even 10 minute drive but if you want like to go to the place we went to um, it's more of a like 20 minute drive and they have like this amazing shop I love which is called Cultura and you have like a lot of books you have um, crafting materials for each and every craft you have music instrument stuff you have CDs DVDs blu-rays whatever you wish to do or watch and I really love this shop and so we go there regularly and next to it there is like this restaurant we discovered and I think like in the last three weeks we have been there like three times like really once a week um, and they must already know because my my boyfriend he orders always the same thing <laughs> I always get a pizza so um, I think they know who we are already after like these three weeks but we try to eat like more healthy we still have um, I did tell you about that hello fresh going on but sometimes especially when I was sick like I was not feeling well enough to do it and my boyfriend came home a little bit later so we decided just to go out sometimes that's why we went so often but in general we try to have like a healthier lifestyle and to go out a little bit less um, it's really nice there like I really like the place the pizzas are fine so yeah and they have a nice carbonara that's all I can say like the pasta really nice um, Afterwards, like I did get some that day, I did some book shopping as well. Like I got a few books. Um, I did not bring them, but uh, there was like another unfortunate event this week. Like if you have seen my Instagram upload, you know that actually I did show it. I think on camera that I got. Um, I ordered from the United Kingdom. I ordered from two places. I ordered from Waterstones. And so far that order went really well and I ordered it from the Forbidden Planet and from the Forbidden Planet I just ordered it like uh, one Samantha Shannon's signed book copy of the 10th anniversary um, version of her Bone series and when I got it the first time around I did unbox it like on camera because I wanted to show it to you but then I did notice that it was not signed and I was really sad. I did contact them again and they were, were very kind and they said that they would send me like another copy. I did not have to pay it, which would be signed. And I had to wait for it like two weeks. And yesterday, no, on Friday or Tuesday, I don't know, my mom did bring it. It did arrive finally. And guess what? When I opened it, it was still not signed and I was so so sad and disappointed because you know when we have like from the United Kingdom things that come in we always have to pay also like tax importation and so I did like write them a very kind but still like kind of frustrated email telling them that it's the second time I contact them again for the same order because I ordered a signed copy and they did also write sign copy on it, but there is no sign in it. And um, I did like take pictures of it, like with the two books next to each other. Not that they think that like, oh, the girl, she's showing us the same as before. She wants another signed copy. No, I just want my one signed copy that I am have paid for without always having to pay like tax. Now I have like two unsigned copies that I won't read because I really want my signed copy. I have already read it in French. So I really just want my signed copy. Is that so difficult? I don't know. Give me one, like please. I usually don't like to insist, but since I really wanted it and they wanted to make it right and they did get it wrong again, I really insist, like I did write them and I was like, telling them that I was really disappointed at a point where like I would not mind if I it just came and it was wrong and I could send it back but if I have to send it back it will cost me money uh, since it's going back to the United Kingdom 
and if it's like if I keep it well I have like paid also like for the import again so it is really pretty annoying I really don't like the situation but I wish like they could like be careful and not send like control before they send it out like it's definitely someone who did not control or has no idea about it so i'm really curious to see what they are going to reply to me for that matter um i really am curious to know what they're going to say because it's the second time that this arrives and it's pretty annoying <sighs> yeah other thing that I did is like I just got um, the same day I got another mail you may have seen it and so there might be another fun unboxing that's coming to you um, it's about a pop mart box again so I usually when I first started um, seeing these pop mart boxes I found they were also cute but I think that I'm just really at the moment I'm just going for those that I really love where I love all of them and then I get the whole set of them. Not just because, like, I feel just like if I take the blind boxes of these sets, like, there are a few boxes that I really love, um, like Warm. I'm not sure if I would like to buy them all, though. So I just get, like, one or two of these boxes. And the risk to get, like, a double is fairly small if you have only two of the blind boxes. But if there's a set where I want them all, I think it's wiser to just like get the set in one time. So you don't spend like more money on just like buying blind, blind boxes, <laughs> not knowing what you will get. And maybe you get some doubles and it's difficult to find someone to exchange. Mm, if you don't really have like a friend who does also like buy these blind boxes from pop mart you are pretty lost like it means like you really have to go to this web page find someone who wants it and then exchange them so it can be difficult i have not tried it out but i imagine that it can be difficult and so yeah it's not like that easy i would say so here we go I think I got them all like this is a color where sometimes especially in the hair where you have a lot of color mixture even though it's like more of less color blocking you can miss some spots though so I really try to go slow with the U. Anyway so this is like the, the bad part of this week. This is a quick reminder to stay hydrated and get some tea or whatever you're drinking. I just got some tea. Um, Another way, like, I just go with the color that's at the bottom and then I move my way up is to just, like, go with the color that draws your eye to it the most. Like, often it's, like, darker colors and then it's, like, all lighter colors and you start from there. And it's easier on your eye and you risk to less, risk less to miss uh, some drills with that color. Otherwise, you have to go back in, so... Just a little tip while we are diamond painting. Um, what else? Like, um, what did we do? Oh, yesterday we, we did actually do quite a lot. We went to, um, first of all, like in the morning, I we did go to my mom's place because she got like the box. Whenever I buy a Pop Mart figurine blind box with the whole set, I also buy like these transparent boxes to showcase them because this prevents them from taking in all the dust and you don't have to dust them all the time. And it's just like easier and more nice to expose them. I really hope those here enter all of them because there are 12 and usually it's like quite I would say um, the space is limited for one figurine and these yeah, seem a little bit bigger so we will see how this works out. I try to do it on camera or I just show you later on what they look like once they are placed. I have not yet done the unboxing video but it's on my list so you will see it probably next week or the week afterwards. And um, oh here's another R. You see sometimes you just miss some because they are like not as bright in color then um yesterday we did go um get this box that arrived at my mother's place and afterwards we just we uh 
drove to make do some groceries, mainly just fruits and vegetables because we got like last week we did a smoothie from HelloFresh and I'm astonished how easy it is to do these smoothies. So I just like bought ingredients and I wanted to reduce some of these. We got strawberries and bananas. I love the combo of strawberry and banana. Um, not just for smoothies but also for milkshakes. If you have never tried it, please do. It's really, really nice. Um, it does sound a little bit weird, banana and strawberry, but I promise you it's really tasty. So strawberry and bananas we got. We got kiwi avocado. Um, we also got uh, kiwi, like um, the kiwis. Um, kiwi, avocado and yeah, you can mix these things up, I guess, a little bit. So um, I think we did buy something. Uh, ah, gi uh, we, yes, we also bought like uh, ginger. So we can mix a little bit ginger in it and green, like the lemon citron there. So, and I think like mixing all this together, it's really, really tasty. And um, we do it like with soy milk, the same way they did. So I really hope that it will be very delicious. And if you do it like fresh, it's always better than when you go there and you buy them and they add like antioxidants and like all these things to like keep them longer. Um, that's not really healthy so it's better you do it themselves and especially since it's so easy like you don't really have to do a lot um, if you're interested in something like that let me know and I will show you or tell you how to or what to add and it's really funny um, what else when we had done this we went further and we did some dog food shopping because my dog he's getting really old um, he's nearly 10 years old. He's going to celebrate next month, the 4th of the 4th, because he was born the 4th of the 4th, 2013, and now he's getting like his 10 years. And at the moment, he, he does not eat well. He's getting really old. You can see it. So I really tried to get him what he likes, and we did buy him some... He does not eat his like dry food anymore. I don't know if he has like a problem with his, te with his teeth. We are going to check it out next week at the vet. But um, I really hope it's nothing serious and we can still like celebrate his birthday soon. So um, we did get some special food that he loves. And yeah, he has been eating that, so that's already positive, I think. And from now on, like, he will get mainly that to eat. If he's happy, as long as he's eating, it's fine. Um, so you see, at the moment, like, there's a lot going on. I have a lot on my mind. Um, afterwards, we did also go, like, we came back to eat a little thing. We did play little bit of video games. I uploaded a video I did in the morning, um, which I had to post out also later on because since I went not to work, I had a lot to do when I came back on Friday. And I only got the time to do it on Saturday. On Sunday then, uh, no, Saturday, yesterday, we did also go um, to a big shopping mall. I just wanted to have a look at things like um, I really wanted to go to Zara. It has been a while that I had not been there, seen like um, the clothes and so on. And I found like two very lovely things. Like um, I was actually looking for dresses for summer, but it's always like difficult because like for work, we are, for example, not allowed to go very short. Um, it has to be like um, if best, like above the like under the knee and um, if it's difficult to find something I really like often they are like a little bit shorter and then I'm like no I'm going to get trouble uh, just because it's a little too short so I, I usually don't buy them and it's kind of frustrating like I went shopping with my boyfriend and I was like showing him the things I like then I had a look at it and I was like, no, it's too short. And he was looking at me like, what? You're still young, you can wear it. It's not like, 
I was like, it's not because I don't can. It's like, yeah, I really can't because like at work, they don't like accept that much. So I did not buy it. Um, there were a few very beautiful dresses though. Um, in the end, I got uh, just two tops. I really liked a blouse and um, yeah, one t-shirt, that's it. So not really much. Um, I did also buy some flowers when we went to buy for the food for the dog. We also want to redo the garden, but it's still a little bit early. The torch, you guys, like the torches I have, they are awake now. So I let them go for a little walk the other day. They were really happy in the garden, in the sun. So I know that I have to go to my mom's place and redo their little garden pretty soon. Maybe that's something we want to do today. Not sure yet what the day will bring. Um, it's definitely on the list of to-do things, so we will see how that goes, what we are end up doing today. But yeah, it's a little bit difficult. I have some trouble reminding what we did yesterday. So we also went, I had a look at the new books that came out, but since I did buy a lot of books and my last disaster with the signed book, I was a little bit resigned and I did not buy any new book. Um, what did we buy then? We didn't buy much, I think. Like, oh no, I did not buy anything there. We just like went on and we we did go to the second shopping mall and there we did buy uh, some pastries, Arabian pastries, like these cookies, like the small cookies. And I really love these, but I had like, when I tasted them, I did notice that they did not taste as good as the ones I had when I was living in Brussels. Because in Brussels, like, I had the chance to teach in a school that was in a, I would not say district, but like it was a part of the city where there were lots of people from Morocco or all of these more Arabian countries. Um... And they did like a lot of people from Turkey and so on. And they were like these bakeries and they did them like really fresh and you could buy them the same day. And they were so delicious. Like I can't even say like they were the best pastries I had. And I was really spoiled there because the kids also brought me them from home, made from home. And they were really delicious. It was not the same quality as here. Um, where you barely taste like how fresh they are and how good they are. So it was kind of disappointing, but it did bring me back to the time when I was like teaching in Brussels, um, which was interesting. It was my very first year teaching, so uh, in high school. <laughs> it was really fun. I have quite a few good memories of it, of that time. Um, and yeah, so afterwards we just did like go through that shop, but there was not as much. I had a look at the clothes there, but there was also nothing really special that did draw my, to my eye. And so I just like, we left and we did come home. Oh, before we also ate at a place that was really nice. It's called Concord and they have like really healthy food. I don't know why we did go there though. Like we, oh yeah, we had like the choice between McDonald's and going there and I told my boyfriend like I was not really I did not really want to go to McDonald's because we had been there for quite quite often recently so I told him now let's go for something else and he did not know this place so I just showed it to him and in the end he found it really nice and they had good food it was really fresh and I think we did have a good time there afterwards yeah we just went home we did play a little bit um, I also had ordered it from Amazon, a very fun Lego for my boyfriend, he loves Lego and it's a robot where you have to, you have to place him, like put him together and afterwards you have like these funny balls, like you know if you go to Japan you have like these machines with the balls, the capsules, like you, you put on a little bit money in the machine and then you get like one of these balls, you can open them and then there's something inside and you have also like these capsule balls inside you can put on the robot and you can write something in it like um, a little paper on it and then you can put it in 
this capsule and you can really turn on the robot and then the capsule come out. So I thought this was really cute and I just ordered it for him. And in the evening, like we just have seen also like some kind of very, very small, like what was it? publicity for the new for the Dyson like I really wanted I have a Dyson hair dryer already but I really wanted to like this airwave blow thingy I don't know like it's like one big staff and you just like roll it up if you want to get it smooth you can make it smooth but you can also like turn it and then you get like the curls and since I did go to the hairdresser and they did cut it okay-ish but I don't I can't airbrush my hair like they do so I don't get like the same results as the hair dryer, dryer does, like the hair dryer, the, the hairdresser does. So I really had to do search for an option and I think like maybe this might help, we will see. Um, so it should arrive next week, then I can try it out. Um, but yeah, that was that and uh, with that like our Saturday was nearly done. We did play a little bit of video games. We are playing a lot of League of Legends at the moment, um, especially Aram, because I really love it. Aram is like all random, like you have a lot of different characters and they have like different powers and you have to battle the enemy team. Usually it's five versus five and you have to take down their towers. That's it's like a tower game and in Aram, like you have not multiple lanes like you have in a regular game. You have just one lane, a middle lane. And so everyone has a random champion from those that they have, of course, or that are free to play that week. And you all go mid, like all random, all mid, because there's just one lane, the mid lane. And you have to take down like um, the enemy towers. I remember when I was like first playing LOL, I played with my friends. And they were like always playing Aram and I was like, oh, I don't like that. And just because I really had not as many champions, I knew how to play. I did not play much. Um, I just played a little bit for fun. But actually through that type of gameplay, I learned how to play them, at least in Aram. And I, I am stuck there. Like I really don't like playing normal games anymore. If I play, it's like really Aram <laughs> games. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's fun, so I really enjoy playing that. I have always liked playing Aram, but like games, like video games, and in general, I prefer watching someone play. But that's something I really enjoy playing myself, but mostly with someone else, because if you play solo, it's like, it's not the same. Mm, what else? Oh, I'm, I'm probably going to stop the video soon. Oh, I did push it, didn't I? Yeah, I did push it. Um, what I wanted to tell you is, to finish it off, I wanted to tell you about um, the things I've watched and I've read this week. So since I got a lot of time on my hands to fill, um, I did some cross-stitching again. I did take up my project I'm currently working on. I'm not going to show it to you because it's from a, a platform that's called VIP Cross Stitch, where you have a lot of um, cross stitches. But I think it's not legally licensed, so I'm just going to keep it like um, there. I'm probably going to show it to you once it's finished, um, but currently it's still in progress, so not much to see there. Um, I'm very slow, and sometimes I get like not motivated and I stop because that's big. Um, but I think like it was quite relaxing when I was sick, so I worked a little bit on that. And I did read a little bit more. So I did tell you about um, the thing that I was starting Good Omens, I think. There is a series, I noticed. So I'm reading Nearly Done, though. Nearly Done. Um, from Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. Um, this is the French version of Good Omens. Good Omens um, has been put out as a series. And I did watch the trailer for the first series and I really it made me laugh a lot because they actually seem to have filmed it just like the book like not a lot of different things so I like that when a, a series is always close to the book I love that with the unfortunate events of the Baudelaire so I think I'm going to have a look at the series as well 
but um, yeah, I moved on and I really enjoy it. Sometimes I'm a little bit skeptical about Pratchett's work just because like there's humor in it that I don't always get. Um, but I enjoyed it and it's funny and it's you have to think sometimes, I think, or at least it does make you think. And I enjoyed it really a lot. So um, if you don't know what it's about, I don't know if I did tell you in the last video if I had started it already. But it's about like um, uh, God, like they are, you know, at the end of the religion, the Christian religion, at least there's this idea that there is Antichrist that is coming, Antichrist, and that it's the end of the world, there will be an act an apocalypse and um, then it's like the good that will triumph over the bad and so we have at first like elf years late 11 years late earlier this is how the story starts and we have like the demon that it's convoked to like bring antichrist to the world and once he's 11 he will start the apocalypse so we have um, the demon who brings the kid in, but he does like switch kids up. So he does in the end up not knowing who is the real Antichrist. At the same time, we have his friend, enemy, um, the angel, who um, <clears throat> is there like to actually survey the project. And he is like representing the good, like God. And he is quite like just like the demon enjoying his life on earth and so he does not really want this apocalypse to happen and humanity to be destroyed because they just like kind of want to enjoy their sushi on earth and they think it's way funnier than the boring life in hell or just like in paradise um and so yeah this is how it happens and they kind of want to prevent like the apocalypse and they don't have a clue who the real antichrist is since the demon did like switch them kind of like they switched them up at birth and so this is like a mystery that they have to find out first of all who is the antichrist and second of all like they have to prevent the apocalypse um and it's so funny like the characters are so funny and lovely um and it's like really witty as well so I really enjoyed that lecture. If you have not seen it, like if you have not read it, maybe you want to see it. It's really funny. Um, if you like this kind of humor, of course, um, it can be funny. And I think Neil Gaiman is also, if I'm not mistaken, maybe I'm mistaken here. He was the one, I think, that wrote Coraline. Um, not sure about that though. There's just something in my mind that makes a link here. Not sure. Um, I should have looked this up maybe later so i've been reading that i also finished yesterday like more during the night my audiobook of the marvelers it's a children book um it was okayish it was like really not the best i have read i don't understand why it's hyped so much i do have like the second tomb but i'm not going to read that like directly after it was not as nice as i would like really have to read it immediately so um yeah this was okay. -ish. It was really from the start. It did not really catch me. Like the characters did not make me like. I did not enjoy them as much. Like there were so many question marks in my head, things that I still don't understand perfectly. Why didn't they like be part of that mysterious society from the beginning and so on and so on? It's explained later, but it's like not really. I don't know. I really. It was okayish. It was not more than that. The Marvelers. Like, I don't know if you have read it. It's a children's book, but um, it's like not really the children's book. Like, I would say, yeah, I recommend this to your children. No, it's it's okay. You can read it, but it's not that nice. And I don't get the hype around it. Um, but that's just my opinion. Maybe you enjoyed it or your kids enjoy it. Mm what else like i think that's it i think i made like the tour there was not much like going on since i have not done a lot this week because of work um where i have not been and i stayed home mostly just like kind of trying to feel better <laughs> um there was not much going on so um this is it i think 
let me know if you want to know more like about some things I said and also let me know about how you work on your kits like do you start from top to bottom from bottom to top how is your way to do that um, I'm curious to know so this is it for me I'm just going to like kind of get the drills out and you see like oops I'm going to finish like the section and then I will probably try to upload it to you. Just wanted to say that I think like in general I really like working on this kit. Not so sure about a few color choices though, but I will discuss that in my post review. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, you can give it always a thumbs up or just like let a comment down below. This helps my channel grow and it makes me really happy. And I hope I will catch you in my next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay hydrated and bye guys!